Okay, today we're gonna talk about something that's not super exciting, but that's actually very important, which is how to mod your game correctly. Because if you're playing Stalker Anomaly without any mods, nobody's judging you, I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong, but you're missing out on a ton of cool stuff. Okay, let's get started on this quick tutorial, and as usual, every single link you might need is gonna be in the video description. So first thing first, you're gonna need Mod Organizer. There are different options, but that one is by far the best one. The main benefit is that you're gonna be able to install all type of mods in a non-destructive way. So you can try out and test as many as you want and remove them if you don't like them without breaking your game files. The second biggest benefit is that you're gonna be able to change the loadout order of the mods, which solves a lot of conflict and issues that they can have between them. Okay, let's go over mod organizer installation. I'm gonna do a fresh install of Anomaly at the same time. So first, we're gonna make a folder to extract our Anomaly files into. When you're done with extracting the files, you want to start the game first. You don't have to start a new game, just go to the main menu and leave. Okay, now right next to our Anomaly folder, we're gonna make a folder for Mod Organizer. We're gonna copy our installer inside the folder and start it. Make sure you pick the folder you just created for Mod Organizer and let the installation run its course. Okay, now we're gonna launch Mod Organizer. We're gonna create a portable instance and we're gonna choose our Mod Organizer folder. It should be already selected by default. Then you just follow the next steps and Mod Organizer should start and we can start installing mods now. Then you simply right click on the main window, pick Install Mod, choose the mod you want to install and that's it pretty much. Mods that come with a faux mod are gonna give you different options that you can pick during the installation. However, some mods do not come with a faux mod and if they give you different options to pick, you're gonna have to do everything manually. So the easiest way is to extract everything, extract the optional option you might want, merge everything by yourself, and then in the mods folder of your mod organizer folder, you're gonna create a folder for the mod you just merged and copy the game data in it. Then you just activate everything from Mod Organizer. It's actually pretty easy when you get the hang of it. And that's it pretty much. You can install whichever mods you want like this, and then the ones that have like conflict between them, you're gonna see these small icons, and you can play with the load order to solve any issues you can have. Okay, I hope all of this was useful, and if you have any issues, just leave a comment and I'm gonna do my best to try to help. And I didn't do that video by chance, I actually have a pretty big video on mods coming soon, so that was more or less a technical introduction for everybody that had questions. Okay, see you soon guys. 